Cause yeah, so I think a lot of people sometimes when they think about like black folks history in this country, it always like starts with like slavery, right? But it really goes back farther than that, back to, to the continent of Africa. People were growing food and and cultivating the land and, and, and the original people started in Africa. So all like were agrarian people in the beginning, everybody comes from an agrarian background if you go back far far enough. So that's what I was talking about. A lot of um you know, traditional spiritual practices, connect with nature and the land. So it's kind of already in tune with us. Like for example, um, think about South Carolina and during slave times, they were like the hub for rice and rice was almost like a currency back then. And so back in those times, like some of the most um, sought after uh, folks who enslaved were coming from the, I forget, like the rice coast in, in West Africa. They already had that skill of growing rice. And so now we go to South Carolina, now you have like the Gullah, the Gullah Geechee people who are like expert rice growers, you know? But that's just like an, an ancestral indigenous knowledge that they already had in Africa that's kind of already still planted here. And that's the same thing with growing food. Like it's already a part of us, but through like slavery, through sharecropping, through all these different kind of like traumas that we've had, you know, connected with, through food and agriculture and the land, we've kind of been like, man, I need, you know, we kind of left it. Our, our, our grandparents was like, man, we gone. We moving up north, you know, we kind of forgot. We forgot the land, right? But we need it because that's a part of us, you know? And that's, that's a, we can't, like, leave that behind because we need that. And you see kind of when we kind of forget, like, the land and nature, we kind of lose a part of ourselves and our souls. So um, I think it's important to kind of go back to that, you know, and, and kind of reclaim that part of our history, but reclaim it so it's, it's for ourselves and not like we're not being forced to do it or we're not being uh, manipulated to do it, you know, and sharecropping. It's like for ourselves and for the enrichment of our folks and our friends and our family, you know, on our own terms. And so I think that's what like what we're doing, a lot of people doing all over the country in the world for urban agriculture and really doing like in a whole new way. And so it's like, a, I think it's a new movement and um, I'm excited to be a part of it.